Hi everybody, I'm Lawrence Moroni from the TensorFlow team at Google, and today we're going to talk about text classification. It's part one of a two-part series where we'll focus on the data and getting it ready to train a neural network. You'll do this hands-on using a workbook that you can find at the link in the description below, and I'll step you through it. Text classification has some unique challenges, so before you get coding, let me step you through some of these. First of all, neural networks typically deal with numbers and not text when learning patterns that can be used for prediction or classification. So in this case, we're looking at learning from movie reviews to see if those reviews are positive or negative. And the first step, of course, is to change the words into numbers that represent them. There'll be a little bit more processing of these words into vectors determining their sentiment, and we'll cover that in the next video. So let's get coding first. First things first, I'll have to check the licenses before I begin. And now I'll import TensorFlow and NumPy. I'll also use Keras and print out the version of TensorFlow that I'm using. OK, now it's time to get the data set. The IMDB set is included with Keras, so let's download it and let's take a look at what's in there. Note that in this case, the nice folks at Keras have done the work for us of converting the words into integers. They've also sorted them into a dictionary so that lower numbers are the most common words and higher numbers are the least common words. So when we loaded the specified 10,000 words, this will then give us the top 10,000 words that are used across all of the reviews. OK, now we've loaded the data, and we have our training data and labels, as well as our test data and labels. It's also nicely sorted into integers for us, which is a great first step for learning. Let's see what the data looks like next. First, we'll look at our training data. You'll see that we have a total of 25,000 items of data and 25,000 labels describing them. The labels are very simple. It's 0 for a negative review and 1 for a positive one. Our reviews look like this. It's just a long set of numbers. And these are the indexes into the array of words. The review will start with a 1, indicating the start of the review. So the first word in the review is word number 14, which translates to the word this, followed by the value 22, which translates to the word film. The next bit of code is then a handy dandy way of decoding the review. Note that the values 0 through 3 are reserved, with 1 being the start of the review, as we mentioned a moment ago, and 0 is for padding. Now, this is important, and you'll see that in a moment. I can now decode the review and see that 1, 14, 22 are the start character, then this, and then film. It's pretty cool, right? Now, earlier, I skipped over this piece of code showing me the length of the review. So for example, the first movie was 218 words long, and the second was 189 words long. Now, that's really awkward, and it's confusing to train a neural network if all of the training data is of different lengths. So let's pick a standard length for every review. And if it's longer, we'll trim it to that length. And if it's shorter, we'll pad it to that length. The Keras preprocessing APIs make this really easy. Here you can see I'm taking the training and test data and making sure it's 256 words long. If I need to pad it, then I'll pad it with the pad character, which is the 0 that we saw earlier. A quick look will now show that it worked. They're all 256 words long. And if I now look at my first set of training data, you'll see that it's padded by zeros. Remember, it had been 218 words long, so the extras get padded out to make it 256. Great. Our training and test data is now ready. So in the next episode, you'll take a look at how to design a neural network to accept this data and to train a model to determine the sentiment of movie reviews. I'll see you there. Thank you.